हेलो एवरीवन सो टुडे वी हैव कम अप विथ अ न्यू बोर्ड कॉल्ड ई एस पी थर्टी टू एस ए आई थिंकर सो दिस बोर्ड इज वेरी रीजनेबल इट इज़ अ कॉस्ट ऑफ अराउंड ऑर्डिनो बोर्ड विच इज़ अराउंड फाइव हंड्रेड रुपीज और अप्रॉक्सीमेटली वेरी क्लोज टू इट एंड देन दिस बोर्ड एक्चुअली हैज़ अ कैमरा बाई विच वी कैन मेक मोर इंटरेस्टिंग प्रोजेक्ट्स लाइक वी कैन डू स्ट्रीमिंग वी कैन टेक इमेजेस we can make some interesting projects uh, based on iot i would like to show you like this can run on 5 volt as well as 3.3 volt and then the gpio pins are little less so still i think you can see around 6 plus 3 9 to 10 gpio pins are there so we can make like use of 6 to 7 gpio pins to make small robots which consist of l293 d okay which can control two or uh, four dc motor so over here you can see this is the packet in which esp32 with the cam is there so be careful when you are cutting with the scissor because this camera is out of it so we need to be little careful when we cut it and then once we cut it we can see the two parts like one is camera and then the another is board so now if you just remove this packing you can see the pins are at the back side and then we are just going to place the camera okay and here there will be no confusion because camera will be facing upward so this it's just goes in the slot and then just we need to press the slot and it is done and you can see camera is fixed and then there is a small part you can see over there that that's the antenna part for the wifi external so over here you can see like 3.3 volt is the uh, power supply from the ftdi chip and then gpio 3 and 1 is used for transmission of data and then the ground so here one important point like when you want to program it you have to connect this jumper between this and this pin and once you are done with your programming you need to remove this jumper so that the board will start so now you can see the ftdi chip and the esp32 so now we are going to connect the first pin that is ground on the ftdi with the ground on the esp then next we are going to connect 3 volt 3 with the 3 volt 3 on the esp32 board after this we are going to connect the rx and tx on the ftdi chip and then the same pin we are going to reverse it and connect it on the esp32 board and then the last pin which is the jumper pin which we will be connecting it only when we upload the code after uploading the code this wire need to be removed so that the board can work properly so first of all we are going to add the board so over here in this link we are going to paste a link for esp32 the link is in the description box and then we will click okay and again we will go to tools and from tools we will go to the board and from that board manager so in the board manager we are going to search esp32 yeah so once we get the esp32 first we are going to install it so once we click to the install it may take some time to install so i'm just doing it fast forward so that it shows you 
so once installation is completed you can now select which version you need and then again you can select and then you can update this now the board manager is ready with the Arduino setup to run ESP32 so here we are going to select the board which we are going to use so the second one we have selected it after that we are going to set up few more parameters you can see in the picture and select those and then when it comes to the port so select the correct port and then you can go to example and then go to ESP32 and then go to camera and then camera server so over here you can see this in, uh, picture and in this program you just need to change your Wi-Fi name and your Wi-Fi password so now we are going to select the correct board so over here AI Tinker the one we are going to select and then we are going to upload the code so after compiling when it shows that it is going to upload so you just need to press the reset button on the board so once you press the reset button a white light will blink and then it will start the upload and then this uploading may take little time once the uploading is done then you need to click the serial monitor and change the baud rate to 115500 and over here you can see that it has connected and given me a new IP address 192.168.0.1.0.1 so we can open it in any browser as you can see I have opened it and then when I click start streaming which is below then I can see that it is able to take pictures and show me over here so open your google chrome and then put the IP address which is shown like 192 and then you can see this has opened so when you click on start streaming so you can see that the thing which is on the camera is going to appear over here now we can change like left to right or right to left and when you go up you can change the resolution so there are variety of resolution you can select so now you can see I have selected a small resolution so the picture has gone small and now I am going to get some effect like over here you can see green effect and then this is like black and white